Welcome back to What Killed the Dinosaurs, Part 2. There's the mathematical key again. Oops. This arrow down here is continental drift. That's the direction this is Hudson Bay again. Okay. Promise to explain my theory. Before I give you my theory and my proof, I will give a very quick background on volcanoes and super eruptions. If you're not familiar with super eruptions, you can search Yellowstone National Park and its volcanic history. The first diagram I'm showing you is of a simple volcano which everyone recognizes. It has its cone shape, very familiar, the molten lava or magma, which is called, is vented upward and released out of the vent at the top. That's when you get steam and lava oozing out of the volcano. A major eruption happens, like at um, Mount St. Helens, when the vent gets blocked off and there's a bulge, pressure builds, and you have a major eruption. She didn't need to look that long at that one. <laughs> a super eruption is slightly different, but many, many times more powerful. The eru uh, super eruption is a volcanic hotspot found de deep within the Earth Earth's crust and is shaped like a domed chamber, like a boil or cyst that you may or may not have had there. Very painful. The volcanic mechanism is the same. Pressure builds under the added mass of the crust and the eruption is tensified and is very catastrophic. Some scientists and theorists believe that many volcanoes, super eruptions and regular volcanoes over many years eventually made the Earth's environment so toxic and lifeless that the largest animals, dinosaurs, didn't have the chance. Only the small animals, birds with feathers, which are dinosaurs, mammals seem to survive. The meteor theory, which I believe for many years, um, is based on the amount of iridium, a rare metal, which has been discovered in the Gulf of Mexico. Iridium is very rare on Earth, but is quite common in meteorites, so therefore it must be a meteor. True. Or is it? Iridium is very rare and only found on Earth at the very inner core and at volcanic hotspots. So, iridium is not the key. And what is the key? Water. Water is the key. Return for part three. And I will describe my mega hydrothermonuclear mass eruption theory and proof the force behind extinction and evolution. And that's not all. So return for part three on what killed the dinosaurs.